When deciding where to start the lashing, you look and see where this overlap is. Because as you go around the basket, lashing very tightly, this rim can move this way. So I would not want to start on this side because I would cover this up and then I would be stuck and I would end up with a gap. So trust me when I say look at this. Go to the right. I'm going to go to this next side. And I like to start it about in the middle here. What I'm going to do, instead of trying to show you how all of this goes together on the actual basket, I have a little sample piece that I'm going to use. And we're going to simulate the inside and outside rim. So what I've done is I've just taped two pieces together that are the same size as the rim. And then I've put in this colored piece. It's a dark navy blue, so that you will be able to see much easier what's happening on the inside. So if I were... Cheryl, that colored piece is, is representative of the final row, that last small piece of reed. Yeah, yeah. Just to kind of clear that up for yeah. you. Yeah, and so I don't have the seagrass in here because I want to show you what it looks like. And you're going to be underneath the seagrass. But I'm going to use this clip and we'll pretend like these are the rims put together. So I'm going to show you how you do it from the outside first and then show you what it looks like on the inside. You take your piece and I'm using 11 64ths. This might be 3 16 flat oval. So if you're using flat oval when you put it in, you're going to have the oval side up against the inside of the basket. So I would be putting this in like this and I'm, I'm going to need to use a tool to help dig around in there because I want it to be on the side that the inside rim is up against. So I put that in now, I'll show you here. Actually, I'm going to cut that off a little shorter. That's just in the way. Now, I'll take this off and show you here where that was going. Now, you also have to make sure it's on this side of the seagrass. Because when you put the seagrass back in there, you don't want to go on top of it. So if I were going to put the seagrass in, I don't want to go on top like that. So you have to be careful when you insert this up through here that the seagrass is on that side. So it's going to look like this. This is the inside of the basket. This is the outside. So it will look like this. And remember, your lasher is also up against this side. Then you're going to poke it down and it's going to be hooked in there just like a candy cane. Whoops. Yeah, it was in there like a candy cane, but I pulled that out. So I'm going to put it back in and show you that it's hooked in there now. So, let me move that over so that I can clip this again to then simulate. This tail piece, I'm going to show you where to place it when I actually do the basket. But the next thing that we will be doing then is wrapping this. We call this a lasher or your lacing piece. Some people prefer lacing. It's just old school. So you have your seagrass in there and everything's hidden so nobody can see where you started that and then we'll be using a tool and I'll show you how to do that when I actually but we'll pretend like that was coming out it goes back around and it comes out so 
the rim is going to be secured with this lashing and this is going to be hidden as well. When it ends, we're going to do something a little bit different and I will come back to my demonstration piece when I get to the end and show that to you. So our next segment will start the actual lashing of the rim on the basket.